Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. In a survey by the Kyungi Research Institute of a thousand provincial residents, 72.7% of respondents indicated that their stress levels had increased after the COVID-19 outbreak. The most frequently cited causes of stress were fatigue due to the prolonged pandemic, as well as restrictions on social and leisure activities. Based on the results of this survey, the Institute proposed institutional support, such as transition to a quarantine system that reflects the changing COVID-19 environment and public awareness, improved access to psychological counselling, and the operation of diverse therapeutic programs. On February 17th, Kyungi Province and the Kyungi Urban Innovation Corporation jointly held a groundbreaking ceremony for the Kyungi Goyang Broadcasting and Image Valley. This specialized complex will be constructed on a 700,000 square meter site in Goyang City. After determining the location and approving plans for the complex in 2019, the province signed contracts with construction companies in January for the completion of work by June 2026. Kyungi Province announced the implementation of the Technology Doctor Program, an on-site technological support program for SMEs. Initiated in 2009, the Technology Doctor Program helps manufacturing SMEs resolve various on-site technological issues including those related to product development and process improvement through one-on-one -on -one customized support provided by specialists referred to as technology doctors. Support is provided through a number of programs for different technological stages, including those involving on-site problems, heavy equipment, and process verification. Kyungi Province announced plans to provide small businesses specifically those with limited air pollution equipment management capabilities due to financial or technological reasons, with support for all related activities, including the testing, maintenance and replacement of such equipment. When testing indicates that replacement is required, support will be provided to cover up to 90% of installation costs. Inviting applications from interested companies the province announced that it has allocated 68.4 billion Korean won for installation support and 1.5 billion Korean won for maintenance support. This year, Kyungi Province will improve 26 road sections in 21 cities and counties where traffic accidents frequently occur so as to ensure resident safety. Locations for improvement work include crossroads and intersections in the cities of Suwon, Guri, Pochon, and Guangmyung. For this project, the province has allocated 4.4 billion Korean won for the repair and restoration of traffic islands, crossroad markings, traffic signs, and safety installations. Kyungi Province announced plans to recruit Kyungi Work Safety Guards who will work as health and safety monitors at industrial sites this year. The province will recruit a total of 104 guards, 20 for southern regions, 22 for northeastern regions, 22 for southeastern regions, 20 for northwestern regions, and 20 for southwestern regions. These work safety guards will perform industrial site inspections and provide guidance on the safety and health requirements of the Industrial Safety and Health Act. For the fourth consecutive year, Kyungi Province has won top place in the fire safety category of a national safety assessment by the Ministry of the Interior and Safety. Thanks to proactive disaster prevention and response efforts to foster a safe Kyungi, fire incidents in the province decreased by 8.4% last year, exceeding the 6.2% national decrease. Also, fire fatalities in the province saw a year-on-year -year decrease of 18%. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.